This is a breaking news. Fulani government of Nigeria reject extradition request of Abakiyare to the United States of America. Hear the news in details. Wonderful people of Biafra, lovers of freedom all over the world, you are welcome once again to Biafra Unite channel slash television this very moment. Today's date is 29th of August 2022 and i've come again with another breaking news the fulani government of nigeria has rejected the extradition request by the united states of america to extradite abba Kiari to answer his criminal case in the u.s court now i'm going to read it how it has been reported by vanguard newspaper one of the zoo gotter media outlets for you to understand now pay attention breaking court rejects federal government request to extradite dcp abakiari to us for trial now this is the headline from the you know uh, vanguard news they say court reject federal government request to extradite abakiari first of all it is not the request of the federal government to extradite abakiari it was the request from the u.s government to extradite abakiari to america to answer his criminal case not by the government of nigeria so this headline from the vanguard is actually misleading so the court of nigeria that is being controlled by fulani government cannot reject a request by the same people that control it are you getting it this is simple logic the court of nigeria is being controlled by the fulani government it is not an independent thing the evidences abound and it is in the public domain so let me continue reading and forget about the title or should i say the headline from vanguard newspaper the federal high court sitting in abuja on monday dismissed an application the federal government filed for permission to extradite the, the, the detained deputy commissioner of police dcp abakiari first of all so the federal government of course federal means fulani the fulani government of the zoo knows that before you extradite someone you have to go through court you have to go through process the due process and they went all the way to nairobi to kidnap mazinam the Kano and forcefully rendition him to nigeria this is the hypocrisy in the highest order that we are talking about so let me continue first once you come across this very broadcast make sure that you share it because us must hear this particular broadcast that i'm making right now share it is very important to the united states of america of course usa to face trial over his alleged involvement with the notorious internet fraud star ramon abbas popularly known as hush puppy the court in a judgment that was delivered by justice inyang Eko, held that the extradition application federal government filed through the office of the attorney general of the federation and minister of justice mr abubakar malami san was incompetent and bereft of merit <laughs> justice Eko held that the agf malami san being the chief law officer of the country ought to be aware that the extradition act forbade the surrendering of a defendant that is already facing trial before a competent court in the country bam <laughs> this the, those of you following us could you recall in the month of uh, of may when i told you the record is still there on our platform when i told you that i do not trust or believe this shenanigan they called abakiari's case with the ndnla or whatever they call them do you remember in the month of may march april may i was hammering on this i told you i i i i am in fact i see a kind of foul play that they want to use this 
useless case of Abakiari being involved with drug business to stop the extradition request to United States of America by the US uh, uh, government. Do you remember? If you remember, please, I want you to comment on the comment section. I said it and here we are today, 29th of August. It is happening already. I am not a prophet, but when I tell you something, doubt it at your own peril. We move. The court wondered why the AGF approached the court with the extradition application when he was equally the one that issued fiat to the National Drug Law Enforcement Agency NDLEA to pros prosecute DCP Kiare on drug related charges. Hey, Tangwazio Nkebe Zioku, I go bomb this news. I haven't read it. We are reading it together. As you are listening to my voice now, we are reading the news together. God in heaven bear me witness. I haven't read it. But I, I am aware of the, you know, the court case today. I'm aware. But I haven't read the news. We are reading now. And the same thing I said, f f you know, a few months ago is what is happening today. <laughs> God is too much now according to the news the agf could not say that he was not aware of the pending proceeding against the defendant which was entered against him by the ndlea justice echo added he said the law was clear that kiari having been docked before a court of competent jurisdiction in the country shall not be surrendered until such case has been discharged either by his conviction or acquittal. Consequently, the court held that the extradition request was incompetent and deserved to be dismissed. It will be recalled that the court had on June, on June 3, reserved the matter for judgment after it heard from federal government lawyer Mr. Pius Akuta and that of the Embattled um, DCP Abakiari Mr. Nureni Jimo San. Why federal government maintained that it had met all condition proce uh, precedents for the suspended DCP to be sent to the US to answer to a criminal charge that is pending against him. On the other hand, Kiari challenged the legal competence of the extradition request against him. Did you get that? This is camouflage. Fulani has one agenda that Fulani first, our own first. That is what makes them exceptional from others. Are you getting it now? So they believe on our own first. That is what we, the Igbo people, we, the Biafran people, we, the Southerners, do not have. So anybody telling you that Nigeria government led by Fulani is interested of extraditing Abakiare to USA, that person is deceiving you. This is just to bury their faces in shame, to show the world that actually the Fulani government of Nigeria is interested. They actually want Abakiari to be extradited. So why are you going to the court when you went to Kenya to uh, to kidnap Mazenam the Kano and you are here going to the court? What can what? Why are you camouflaging seriously? Why are you camouflaging? And his criminal syndicate, Hush Puppy, will be sentenced next next month. He will be sentenced. He will know his fate next month. Either he's going to be life imprisonment or maybe twenty years imprisonment, because that is what you get in America. So why pretend? Oh. Hi, nah, eh. Kiari, who is currently in prison custody for drug-related charges, told the court that contrary to the allegation against him, he had some he had some months before Hush Puppy was arrested, sent a letter to both the Attorney General of the Federation and the Inspector General of Police (IGP), notifying them that he had opened a channel of communication with the suspected internet fraudster in furtherance of an ongoing investigation. Kiari is wanted in the USA to stand trial for conspiracy to commit wire fraud, money laundering, and identity theft. A grand jury had in April 29, 
2021 filed an indictment against him with the approval of the U.S. District Court for the Central District of California after which a warrant was issued for his arrest. Hosh Poppy had earlier pleaded guilty to the alleged $1.1 million fraud charge against him even as the U.S. Attorney's Office for Central District of California, Los Angeles revealed that he will be sentenced on September 21. Thank you, my people. That is what I have brought to your notice as we monitor the case. Share this very news and make it go viral.